Hey YouTube, welcome back to my channel. This is Chris here today. We're gonna to be talking a little bit about soft synths, a little bit something different on the channel. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of playing, not a whole lot, not like a lesson or anything, but I thought this was a really relevant topic to touch on on my channel because it's something that I use a lot. I think it, it's something that can be very beneficial to a lot of you. Now, before we get into this video, um, I'm as you can see, I'm sitting on my desk setup here. Um, I got my computer on, I got a nice wallpaper on here. This is a picture that I shot myself on vacation this summer um, in Northern Ontario. And um, it's a really beautiful photo of a sunset that I got. And I'm just, I got it up on my website if you're interested. So check that out. I got a link below for it. Um, it really helps to support the channel when you guys uh, uh, look at stuff like that, purchase that. Um, but anyway, let's get on to the video. So just a little bit more uh, about the topic is, uh, so, um, what I was I was kind of thinking of what to call this video and um, what it really is is a way that you can breathe new life into an old instrument so like if you have old uh, older hardware keyboard um, that uh, like me I've got a Yamaha Mo 8 that I play pretty often it's over 20 years old and one of the things I like to do with it is I like to just use it as a controller sometime and then use software instruments with it so I wanted to just kind of bring that to some of you that aren't used to um, playing software instruments and show you how easy it is to do it and how affordable it can be. Um, so there's a couple things that you need uh, to run software instruments. So one, you need some kind of a keyboard controller. So here I have my M Audio MIDI controller. It's a 61 key MIDI controller. But as I was saying before, I also have my Yamaha Mo 8, which is a full size keyboard that can also be used as a controller. As long as your hardware keyboard has MIDI outs on the back, then you are able to use it as a MIDI controller as well. Now, one of the perks for using software instruments is that it can be extremely affordable compared to a hardware keyboard. So for example, um, especially if you already have a computer. So I'm gonna be showing you my setup. Um, I've got a MacBook over here and I've got the MIDI controller. This MIDI controller, I believe was about $400 Canadian. And so it's, um, probably around 300 US. And if you already got a computer, you don't have to worry about that because you can just use the computer you've got. Um, other than that, you just need a cable to connect your MIDI controller to your computer. If you're going to be using this to gig live, um, I suggest you also have an audio interface, which is something like this. This is my interface. Hope you can see it there. It's an Apogee Duet interface. Basically what an interface does is it converts the digital signal out of your computer, changes it to an analog signal that you can send out to a soundboard or a keyboard um, amplifier or some kind of um, speaker system. Whereas on a hardware board, a hardware board will do that for you. It will have it would do all that processing inside the board and just have um, analog outputs in the back. So that's all you really need. Um, and a, uh, a, MIDI, a MIDI controller like that is kind of expensive because it's, it's, it's made a lot for like high quality studio work, um, vocal processing and stuff like that, but you can get something a lot more affordable. Um, I can link a couple of, of more affordable MIDI controllers down below as well as the one that I have um, for you to look at. So let's get right into just kind of the surface of software instruments. The third, uh, another thing you're gonna need is like a program to run your software instruments. So I use MainStage. It is a Mac only application and you can download it from the app store. So I'll just pop open my app store like that. Hit main stage. Okay, I got main stage three here. And there it is, boom, I've already got it. But, um, but I believe that runs about 29, 30 bucks Canadian, probably about 20 bucks um, US. Uh, so you get that, you download it. Once you get it, 
you open it up all right and it gives you a few options you can go through these once once you get the program it's got guitar rigs it's got drums it's got vocal mixers all that stuff that you can use and dive into as well but we're just going to look at the keyboards today and we'll hit the quick start for the keyboard and then boom it just pops up and you've got a whole list of patches um, sounds that you can use now when you first get this you'll have to download all of the instruments when you get to be then you'll be able to use them and they're included so the first instrument that we have is a Steinway Grand Let me turn that up a little bit for you and that's kind of what it sounds like it's um, basically it is an actual sample of a Steinway Grand Piano, and um, it's, it's actually a really good sounding piano. Okay, um, and mind you, I'm not directly connected my computer to the audio, it's actually just going into, the, into a mic, so you're not gonna hear the actual patch in all of its glory. But basically you get all of these patches. Um, it's, it's a whole list of here of things here. I'm not gonna go through them all for you. But what I really wanna show you is another thing that you can really, that you can do that will actually elevate this um, a whole other level is you can actually go out and either download other free instruments or you can buy third party app instruments. So what I've done is I've, just purchased um, a couple of my a couple myself over the years that um, I use and it just kind of covers all the bases for me um, one of the ones that I like to use is or my favorite one is Alicia Keys's piano so just to kind of explain this is an actual sample of Alicia Keys' personal acoustic piano. So they went in and they meticulously tried to capture all the nuances of her piano and package it up into a software instrument. And you're gonna get as close a replication to the sound of her actual piano that you can in a digital format. So you heard the Steinway Grand a little bit. Um, again, I'm not really sure how good the quality is gonna come through on a mic recording. But here is the Alicia Keys' piano now. That's just kind of on the default setting. Um, if I was using it, I would pay, pull up one of the preset settings. And this kind of just com, um, controls how much like reverb and effects are on the piano and uh, simulates a lot of different things. So this is a small auditorium setting. a little bit bigger like you're actually in an auditorium All right, and that's one of my favorite patches and that I believe I got for maybe a hundred and something bucks a long time ago it's probably around the same price still they these hold their value pretty well sometimes you might catch it on sale um, and then another uh, app that I use it's an old one there's there's been revisions of it but it's um, this one here, which is uh, MK Sensation by um, gospel musician Shamal Hartwell. Um, now this, I can show you uh, an example of why this, again, kind of really shines against hardware instruments. Now, um, one of the instruments I use a lot on here is this Power Grand. And that's just basically a sample piano. Uh, it's sampled directly off of the Power Grand patch on a Yamaha Motif keyboard. In my opinion, it sounds pretty close to that. Um, okay, so now where, where software instruments really shine, especially if you have a decent computer is, okay, so we've got 16 instruments on this program. There's a Piano 1, Piano 2, EP1, EP2, 
brass, synth, power grand, acoustic piano, dyno piano, TX816, and a strings and a pad. Now, I'm gonna turn every single instrument on. So this is 12 instruments. Twelve instruments that I can play at the same time. Hold, and there's no dropouts. Now I've never seen a hardware con uh, controller be able to play that many sounds at one time without any dropouts or signal cut. So that's kind of where software instruments sign and. It, um, I guess Jamal's kind of made it, once you hit all of those together, it sounds like you got like a good shout um, patch going. Uh, um, with that, so anyway, that's where software instruments really sign, shine. So again, um, this is kind of what I, I do to, uh, this is the reason why I haven't bought a new hardware control, uh, hardware instrument. Um, in a long time, in over 20 years, because just having a Mac already, it's, you know, I would love to get a montage. Those run, I think, 5,400 Canadian, 5,500 Canadian for a brand new instrument. The Yamaha Mo DX Plus is uh, just about half that. And um, I want to get it, but I just can't go to, to to get it when I know I've got access to software instruments. I, I can't find a way to justify the price anymore. Um, oh, another patch I really love is this here. It's a tone wheel organ. I did a separate video on the tone wheel organ, which you can check out. I'll, I'll leave a link to it below. Um, but it's actually a really good sample of, a really good sample um, soft synth of an, an actual B3 organ. There's so many things you can do with it. Um, it sounds really good uh, once you dive into it. You can, you know, once you pull it up, you've got two sets of draw bars, you've got the bass pedals, you've got all the effects, uh, percussion, distortion. Um, you can control the Leslie speed. You can emulate uh, mic positions on the, on, on the Leslie, so you can have it like sounding if the mic's, if it was mic'd up in the front or if it was mic'd up in the rear, you can actually see the big drum and the, the little horn spinning. Uh, and it, you know, if you turn it fast, it actually spins fast, like it's emulating fast, or if you put a brake on, it will just stop spinning. Um, there's so many things you can manipulate the click. Uh, yeah, it's just an incredible, incredible, um, uh, organ that comes built in main stage so that alone to me is worth the money and you know if you want to get really complicated you could uh, you can buy foot pedals you can um, get two layers of MIDI controllers um, all kinds of things and just have like this personal B3 setup so that's like my little video intro on um, soft sense for you. Um, I don't know if that is, I don't know if anybody's going to really like a video like this. I just kind of wanted to throw it out there. Please leave me some feedback below. Leave me a comment if you'd like to know a little bit more, uh, about soft sense and virtual instruments. And I'd be happy to like, um, oblige. We can talk in the comments. We can do a new video if needed. Um, another thing I wanted to say is if you like this video, please hit the thumbs up. It really helps me on the algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you're new here. Check out my digital store. I got wallpapers on there. Oh, and last thing is I am back on Patreon. So join, I'm gonna also have links for Patreon on the bottom here. 
Um, join me on Patreon. I'm going to be doing some exclusive content over there, setting up um, a chance for you to get one-on-one -on -one lessons or chats with me. We're going to have group chats and a bunch of fun stuff on Patreon. So check that out too. Um, so that's it for now. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.